guys, so today I am going to be showing you how to make a slideshow with your photos for InView. Um, and I'll quick show you what the slideshow will look like. And there it is. And I'm just going to be using the same pictures that I have in the slideshow that you're seeing right now. Um, because I just really don't feel like editing new pictures for it. Because I feel lazy today. So I already have one of the pictures open. It is resized. So what you want to do is say you wanted to put your edited pictures in the slideshow. You have to resize the pictures first so that they would fit in view. Um, make sure they're all the same size when you resize them. And it can have a maximum of three photos, I believe. That's as many as I've been able to put in the slideshow. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. So let's just get started. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to go to File, Open as Layers. And you are going to just click on your next photo that you want in the slideshow. And there it is. And then for the third photo, you are going to do the same thing. File, Open as Layers. There we go. And there is my third photo. So the order that the slideshow will be in is the first image that you open, which would be your background image, and then the next one, and then the one at the top would be the last one. So the one that you're seeing now would be the last photo in the slideshow. But keep that in mind of the order. And you have to say I wanted this one, this one to be the last one, you have to switch it now rather than when you're actually making a slideshow. I don't know why it's just like that. Otherwise it won't work. So now that I'm happy with the order that I have it, you go to Filters, Animation, and then Optimize for GIF. You just click on that. And it will open it in a new window. Okay, so after you click on the Optimize for GIF, it will open up a new window. So now that we are in this new window, you can see that it has in parentheses the 100, M, S, whatever. Now, the lower the number, the faster that the picture will go through. So we want to make this slower, because right now it's pretty fast. So you want to right click on the layer and click Edit Layer Attributes. And we want to change this 100 to either a 800 or a 1000. I'll just do a 1000. And you want to do this for you. You want to do this for every single layer. Now you can change the speeds between each layer depending on how fast or how slow you want the picture to go through. I'm just going to do the same speed for each one. So now I want to preview the speed that I have. So you go to Filters, Animation, and Playback. And it'll bring up this little window here, and you just click Play. And it'll show you the slideshow. So I'm pretty happy with that speed that it's at right now. So I'm just going to X out of this. And now if you want to save it, you go to File, Save As. And then I'm just going to name it Fox Slideshow. And at the end of it, you want to put a dot and then put GIF. And make sure that you have that dot GIF at the end. Otherwise, it won't save as the slideshow. So then you just click Save. And this window will pop up. And you want to make sure you have Save as Animation. And then just don't worry about that. And you click Export. And then this window will pop up. Um, just in case, I always set this to 1000 in case it doesn't save right because sometimes it doesn't. And then I check the use delay entered above for all frames just to make sure. And you want to make sure it's checked loop forever. And then GIF comment. And just click save. Okay, so now I saved it to my desktop. So now I'm going to click on it.
And there you go. There's your slideshow. Now, to put this on in view as your picture, you're just going to go to Account. And then you're just going to browse for your image. And then you click on your slideshow. And you just click Update Profile. And I've always had problems with updating, um, with changing the picture in Windows Internet Explorer for some reason. It doesn't want to do it. So I learn to use Firefox whenever I am changing my avatar picture because it just seems to work better and you don't get as many errors. So yeah, I just use that and it works fine. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial that I have. Um, again, thank you for the request and keep them coming. I will be sure to do them soon. And so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye.